Hello everyone, this is Mr. No. Today I will show you how you can interpret the results of ECG taken from an Apple Watch. So you can take the ECG in your phone and uh, after taking it, if you come to health, you can see your uh, the ECG recording here. As you can see here, now if I try to open this, this is how my ECG looks like. But now I'm not sure how or what can I interpret from this ECG. So for that, there is an app which is available in the market. It's called Read My ECG. So what it does is, uh, it's a, there is a paid feature for it, which allows you to submit your ECG for review. Then an expert will review a ECG and come back. So that feature is available, but you may not need that because within that, there is a neat functionality called Calculate. So using which you can identify what are the various uh, stats in your ECG. So if you come here, you can see, uh, if I just say play, this is how my ECG looks like. If I say full screen, let me put it and play it. So this is how my ECG was varying when I took it. Now one neat functionality within this app using which you can see if you are uh, normal or not is uh, this. So heart rate anyway, you get it from the Apple, uh, normal app also, 60 beats per minute. So you have this QRS QTC P, uh, PR. So here it shows you if it is normal or not. So my mine is around 83. So if it is more than 120, it is abnormal. And what is this QRS? So the heart has its own electrical system that controls each heartbeat. So when an electrical signal from the top part of the heart uh, makes its way down to the bottom of the heart, it then it has to spread through the entire ventricle for it to contract or skews at the same time. So there are specialized wires in the bottom of the heart uh, and left one branches or his uh, and that helps spread this electrical signal as evenly as possible. So the QRS duration is measured from the beginning of the uh, QRS compress to the end of the QRS compress. So that is the medical explanation of that but you don't need to know all those things. You can just see whether it is falling in normal or not. Then you can come to QTC. Here QTC it is normal between 350 and 470. So mine is 382. So that is also normal. So what does it mean? So QTC interval is considered normal between this range. So when an electrical signal travels to the heart, electrical state of the heart cells is changed. So heart then has to reset itself and change the heart cell back into its normal state to get ready for the next heartbeat. So the amount of time it takes for the heart signal to travel from the bottom of the heart and reset itself is the QT interval. We expect this to happen more quickly when, we, when the heart beats faster which is why we need to correct for the heart rate using simple mathematical equation. This is what the C stands for in QTC. The QT interval is measured from the beginning of the QRS complex at the end of the T wave. The QRS represents the ventricles contracting and uh, the T wave represents the ventricle electrically resetting. So this is what it is. So as I mentioned, you just have to check whether it is normal or not. Then if you come to PR, then again it shows you the normal value from 122 bar is a normal one so mine is 145 so this is what it means actually so what is PR so the heart behaves like a pump which requires an electrical signal to send from top of the heart all the way down to the bottom the PR duration is the amount of time it takes for the electrical signal to go from sinus node which is like command center of the heart and the heart ventricles or bottom chamber of the heart the electrical signal has to travel through the top chamber then through AV node which is gatekeeper of the electrical signal and then down specialized electrical wiring called uh, his uh, Purkin J system until it finally gets the ventricle. So the PR interval is measured from the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QR complex. So mine is normal here. So here from this I can interpret that my ECG is normal. So this way you can check whether your ECG is normal or not. Uh, but if you are not sure of these things you should always consult your doctor. I hope this information is useful. Thank you very much. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.